So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back. And in this video, we're going to discuss how to map ports in Docker container to Docker host. Now what happens a lot of times, actually all the time, you would need um, some sort of external service. It might be a Docker container itself, but some sort of service to access your Docker container, right? And the only way you can talk to a container apart from shared file system is through networking right and for networking you need open ports so you can just send in some traffic to that particular port and receive the response back from an open port right consider you have a server now it is of, of no use if you do not have http or https ports enabled for clients to communicate so how do you do that in docker is by using um, dash p while uh, creating that particular container, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the Nginx image first of all, so that we can actually forward the um, ports for this particular Nginx image. Now, for Nginx, what happens is when you install an Nginx Docker image, by default, that particular container which you have installed would be listening for Nginx traffic on its port 80. Right, so let's do, just do one thing. So I'm gonna say docker run um, nginx and I'm gonna just go ahead and hit enter, right? So you see that it stays there because nginx server is running. If I go ahead and do a docker ps now, you're gonna see that we have a container running which has a command of nginx uh, basically just to keep it running um, in the background itself, in the foreground as a process. So what happens now, is that if I were somehow able to, you know, if I just do, if I am able to get into this container, how do I get this into? Is by command like this. Now, just ignore this command for now. We're gonna discuss this later. But I am in this container, right? Which is this particular container. Now, let's see if we have call installed. I don't think so. Let's get a uh, call. Okay, let's update first of all. So if I am um, able to send a request to that particular um, all right apt install go okay so what I'm essentially trying to do is show you that inside this container if I do a request to local host you're gonna see we get an nginx image that means a server an nginx server is running inside this particular container right however how do I access it on my host machine? Localhost port 80, it's nothing. I actually go to localhost.com. I don't know why the hell that is. But yeah, you can see that nothing happens because you know, it's not available to the host. So how do I make it available to the host? Well, what we can do is we can run docker run nginx, but I actually want to map the port from host to container. So I'm gonna specify a dash P option and I'm gonna say, well, what I want is that on my host, if I visit port number one, two, three, four, it should take me to port 80 on this particular container, right? So essentially the thing is, it looks something like this. So I have a host, right? And if there's a request on port one, two, three, four, it's going to actually send to the Docker engine and Docker engine determines, well, hmm, I have seen that 1234 is configured to container port 80, and well, there we go. This route is activated, and other two are not, right? So these are the three containers you have might be, and this is the one which is mapped to 1234, therefore this request is forwarded to this container one, then the response also is basically, you know, just as it is uh, sent to this particular Docker engine, which responds to the host container, and uh, this is how the networking is done. So now if I go ahead and run it, we're gonna see uh, we have a container running and if I go ahead and execute a uh, bash inside this and if I, you know, apt update it again and basically apt, apt install call as well. Once it's done, it's so slow. But anyway, right now, because this is already mapped to the host as well, what I can do is go to localhost, colon, one, two, three, four, and hit enter. 
and you can see that we get a uh, welcome to nginx message which is, which is actually being served from this particular container right so what happens now is that once i have this container or actually let's just get out of this once i have this container running you can see it, it's working fine but if you specify it's something like this it's going to listen on all the interfaces now what do i mean by that is that if i go ahead and crep i grab my private ip address that is my local ip address which in this case is this one i can go ahead to this and write one two three four as well and you can see that it still works even though i am on my local ip address right on my private ip address i'm not on localhost that means uh, what you did with this is that you did not bind it to your local host, but it, you actually bind it, binded it this to all the uh, listening interfaces. So what does that mean is that other computers in the same network would be able to actually visit this particular URL 192.168.0.104 colon um, whatever it, it was 1234 and would be able to access my service. Now if I want to restrict it, to maybe just local host what i can do is actually i can provide a specific ip address here so i can say well um if if the request is coming to this particular ip address that is i just want to listen on the local host interface port 1234 then only forward it to port 80 inside this particular container makes sense so if i go ahead and enter this now if i go ahead and refresh this you're gonna see this okay we have mixed feelings, but I think this is partially because of some caching problem of Safari because this should not be happening, right? So yeah, anyway, so this should not be happening. Uh, I mean, you should not be seeing the page. Well, that that is, <laughs> that is some bad caching problem with Safari, but okay, let's try some different port. One, two, three, five and hit enter. Now you should not be able to listen to 104, one, two, three, five. Right? It should not work at all, but you should be able to go to 127.0.0.1 and 1.2.3.5 and it should work. Or maybe localhost as well because uh, localhost on most systems is bounded to 1.2.3.4 uh, port uh, uh, IP address 127.0.0.1 only. So this is how basically all this stuff works. It's interesting. Trust me, you're going to get it. If you're still confused right now, don't worry about this. We're going to discuss tons of details like this later on. But yeah, this is how essentially it rolls out. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you like this video, do not forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next one really quick.